So let's talk about the first one, visibility. This would be fairly obvious. You want your users to be able to see what they need to do, right? It needs to be visible. Makes complete sense. So why is this so difficult? Let's look at a quick example. This is an elevator control panel. And so the question is, how does it work? I want you to imagine that you went to downtown, right? You go to the elevator because you have this awesome, awesome, awesome meeting with the CEO of a company that you are dying to get a job with. And you have to go to the penthouse. So you run into the elevator, you push the button, and nothing happens. What do you do? Well, sometimes we'll start pushing other buttons. Okay, I'll go to the floor below and I'll run up the stairs. You push that button, nothing happens. Looking at this image, can you figure out what you would need to do? Nope. Which, by the way, is a good answer at this point. If not, I sometimes have people who spoil my answers on this slide. See what you need to do? There's a slot where you have to run a card so that you can actually get the elevator to work. How obvious is it? Not so much. Especially, I, don't, I guess you can't see it too well, this is actually a seam. You know how you go in and you have the metal panels and they have seams in the metal panels? So it's not very visible. Not such a good design. Now, what are some things that we could do to make it more visible and make it more obvious? Put the card reader actually a little bit out from the wall. Make it out of sign. So you can either put a sign you can have the card reader actually sticking out so a little bit so it's more obvious. You could still make it fairly aesthetically pleasing. What else? Any other ideas? Have a border around it. Have a border around it so it's more noticeable. I'll take one more. Yes. Maybe like a little Automated voice says, please swipe card, something like that. An automated voice. How many of you have gotten into an elevator and the elevator starts talking to you? You, you haven't had that happen? It's kind of weird the first time. You're like, whoa. But yeah, you know, they have the, the uh, what my friend calls the Disney voice. You walk into the elevator, please select your, your was it? please select your floor by pushing the appropriate button. You know, stuff like that, like you're in Disney. That's another option. So they definitely had other options to make it more visible to the user. And what I really like about that last response is making it more visible is not always just visual. It can be auditory. Now, you want to keep in mind, though, that we do need to consider people who have various limitations. So if you have someone who goes into the elevator who is hearing impaired, do you just want something Auditory. You could put flashing lights. So it could be a combination of a voice that you come in and flashing lights or something. You want to make sure, yes? Um, can sometimes things like that be like a little overbearing? Yes, they absolutely can. Sometimes they can be overbearing and annoying. So that's another thing you have to balance out. About five minutes ago, I talked about how you balance, have to balance a lot of these things out. That's a perfect example. Because it can become intrusive and overbearing and annoying. Let's look at another example. So I'm in the bathroom. I finished going to the bathroom. I forgot to wear black. I'm partially wearing black. I decide I need to go wash my hands. I go up to the sink, and if I'm wearing black, what happens? Uh, Nothing happens. So what do I start doing? Okay, it looks like an automatic faucet. 
That's not working. <laughs> Still doesn't work. How long do you think it's going to take me to think about reading that teeny tiny little sign? You guys see what it says? Automatic faucets. That's obvious because there's no knobs. Well, it's obvious to us because we're used to automatic faucets. If you've never seen one, now you're really going to wonder. Now in the smaller print, to turn on, walk up to sink. To turn off, walk away from sink. Something we naturally do. But there's a problem. Black clothing does not operate the faucets. Think it's a problem? What are the chances I'm going to read that when I walk up before I start waving around and just doing silly things? Yeah, very unlikely. It's not going to happen. All right, now I have walked up to the faucet. I have read that. I'm wearing black. Now what? I don't wash my hands. I try, try to grab the person next to me and wave them in front of it. Meanwhile, they think I'm accosting them. Brilliant design, right? Now, what probably happened in this case was, you know, the system was designed. They did not actually think about things such as people may be wearing black, and they didn't test for it. They didn't think about what their users may need, so they tried putting a Band-Aid over it. What was the Band-Aid? The sign. How good of a solution do you think that is? Yeah, not so good. So this, I would argue, is a good example for saying you need to think about usability when you start designing a system. Even something as simple as this.